Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Inventions. And in today's episode, I've got some pretty cool stuff to show you. I'm just out gathering a little bit of wood, uh, cause, you know, I haven't done that for a while, and I kinda wanna use up the rest of this axe, <laughs> since it's pretty much toast anyway. Uh, almost, no, still, I'm, how much durability does this thing have, 10? 10? 10 durability left. I'm just trying to get myself a little bit of oak wood here. Uh, I've been doing some work between episodes, been doing a couple things, and uh, one of those things is, I, you may remember last episode we set up an ME system, and we got that going, uh, just a real basic one, nothing too fancy. Well, I made an ME system room, and I moved everything in there. Uh, I still need to expand the system pretty significantly with some storage drives and stuff like that, uh, because it's still, it, it it's not great, I mean, it's really not all that useful just now because it just doesn't have a whole lot of storage capacity. Why did I do that? Uh, there we go. Um, but I wanted to show you that real quick. Let's grab this axe. And actually, I'm going to grab this pick too for when that axe inevitably, uh, or when my diamond pick here inevitably breaks, which will be fairly soon. Anyway, so you come over here, and you remember we used to have our ME system set up right here. Oop. Also made an alloy smelter. I don't remember if I did that last episode or not. Uh, but I expanded this a little bit. So now we have energy conduits coming out of our big reactor. Our big reactor is also expanded to hold five uh, control rods now instead of just one. Although I'm actually only using one at the moment. And then this guy goes down and into a basic capacitor bank right here. Uh, and 30 minutes until a server restart. Okay, duly noted. So over here... You come down into this room, and you see an ME crafting terminal. And that's all you see, and then this will give you access to everything in your ME system. I really don't have a whole lot of stuff in it just yet, because as I said, I need uh, a lot more storage drives before I can really start using the ME system uh, heavily. But where does this lead? I mean, I, there's this wall back here. There's also a secret hidden door. This room looks like garbage at the moment, because it's not at all decorated. Uh, but it is functional, and we've got a few different things here. We've got uh, a, a charger, so I dump Certus Quartz in here, and it will automatically charge and spit it out to this chest. And then up here, uh, this is our inscriber, and we can kind of semi-automate uh, inscription of things. Uh, also, I've got some more Fluix crystals chilling over here. I've got the, uh, the crystal growth accelerator set up, and everything is pretty much good. Uh, this room... I don't know that I'm actually going to, like, make this room look good, because I think this is ultimately... I think these are going to go somewhere else, maybe. Uh, but ultimately, I think this room is just going to be kind of where we dump all of our ME drives and all the technical stuff that I really just kind of want to have hidden. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know that we're really going to do a whole lot with that, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Now, I want to get in to some new stuff today. I want to get into some new alloys and machinery um, so that I, or specifically, I want to be able to get into alloys and we're going to need some new machinery to do that, I think. I've got the alloy smelter and if I look at Invar and I want to make an Invar ingot, I don't know... Well, here it says I can do it with the alloy smelter. Maybe it was just this one that's a little derpy. Okay, so actually, I think I probably can do this with the alloy smelter, which means this is going to be a lot less complicated than I had thought. Um, although I do still want to get into some of the industrial craft stuff uh, and the, the tech reborn stuff, because there's some pretty cool things in there. Uh, I've got a generator here, which I don't really need anymore. I think we're good. Uh, oh, also, that reminds me, you are probably wondering how in the world I went about doing this, right? So we have actually hiding back here uh, some Ender... I These are Ender I.O. conduits with conduit facades on them. Uh, I made myself a painting machine so that I could hide all my conduits because you guys probably know by now that I like to make pretty things and part of making pretty things is making sure that all the conduits and ugly stuff aren't uh, clearly visible. So we do have the ability to make... Uh, alloys, it appears, using our alloy smelter. So what I'd like to work towards uh, is two things. First of all, I want to make a capacitor, and I'm thinking... 
I'm really kind of leaning towards this guy, the Redstone Flux Capacitor. Holds 4 million RF. That's quite a lot. That will that will tide us over for a pretty long time. Uh, and we also need a way to actually charge that. So I believe it is the Energetic Infuser. This guy right here. Yeah, charges items with RF. So there's a few things we need for this. Um, first and foremost, we're going to need a leadstone energy cell. And that's relatively doable. Need some redstone, need some lead. And let's make a redstone block. There we go. And I believe it's that. Yeah, leadstone energy cell frame. And then we can use the energy cell frame along with one of these guys. I do need to make some electrum. Uh, electrum is just gold and silver. So let's grab some gold and some silver. I'm probably going to have to convert. Oh, I've got so much silver, though. Like, that's way more silver than I think I'm going to use. So I think maybe I'll turn half. Maybe I'll uh, turn a stack of silver into gold ingots. Um, that's probably a good decision on my part. There we go. So to make the energy cell frame, I need a single electrum ingot. Okay, so we'll drop one gold, one silver in there. Those will smelt up and give me one electrum. Oh, two electrum ingots, actually. Even better. Then we'll do that. And this? No, that's not right. Copper. Copper ingots. Okay. Uh, then we'll do that. We'll grab ourselves some copper ingots out of here. And we'll make ourselves a leadstone energy cell. There we go. Then, if we look at the capacitor... Uh, <laughs> or we can totally derp that up too. I actually didn't need the leadstone energy cell, did I? Nope. Go self. That's all right. I do have one sulfur here. Uh, so I think we can still just go ahead and make one of these guys. Uh, lead, copper, uh, yes, good. All right, I should have everything. So we'll make the leadstone one. Then we need to upgrade it to hardened. And for that, we're going to need invar. And the invar is... I want... No. Oh, stop it. I want... There we go. Invar is... Iron and nickel. Okay, so two iron, one ferrous. That'll make me a few ingar, uh, a few invar. Actually, let's make a bit more than that because I'm sure I'm going to need more. So let's do, let's do a bunch. It'll get used for machinery and stuff like that as we go, I'm sure. And we'll just toss those in there as well. And those will smelt up and make me some invar. Uh, there we go. All right. And the rest we can let it go while, we're, while it's doing its thing. Uh, now I need a little bit of tin. So we'll grab a tin ingot. And now I think I have everything to upgrade to the hardened. There we go. And then finally, there's the redstone, which is going to require electrum and... Ah, I need one more electrum ingot. And a diamond, for that matter. And then we also need the energetic infuser. That's that's right, that's what I needed the, the, the energy cell frame for. I needed it for the energetic infuser. I remember. I'm so good at this game. Um, <laughs> wow. I am scatterbrained, apparently. Okay, and then this is just gold. Like so. We need a couple of copper gears, so I'm going to need some iron, and we'll do that. Two copper gears, and then finally I need a basic machine frame as well, which is actually going to need some tin. Wow! Do the, do the thing. There we go. And there. And now I should have everything. Do I not have? Yeah, I do. Actually, it's. I think it's because the leadstone energy cell is not a stackable item. 
No? Why... Why you no work? Um... Redstone? Uh-huh. Does this not accept a basic... No, it accepts a basic machine frame. Why does this not... work? Huh? I'm very confused. I'm extremely confused. Um, machine crafting, upgrade crafting. What? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get this figured out, guys. I'll come back to you in just a sec. Just kidding, guys. I was just testing you. I know, I, I knew all along that the recipe doesn't call for an energy cell. It calls for a energy cell frame. Did you know that? I was, it was a test. Hopefully you passed. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> I can't believe. Anyway, uh, actually, we need a little bit of silver and uh, silver and gold to make more electrum. There we go. Um, yeah, that was, you know, one of one of my finer moments right there, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> terrible. All right, let's make... Uh, let's make, like, eight Electrum ingots. That should be adequate for our purposes. And we do have the, uh, the Energetic Infuser now. So I can throw that guy here. Actually, that's a bad place for it. Just kidding. Let's put it right here. Just temporarily. So this thing can fill up. And this thing has a internal buffer of 10 million RF. So I'm really not too worried about it. Um, let's go back to our capacitor. Here we go. And to upgrade this guy, I need a diamond, I need some redstone, and I need the two electrum ingots that I already have, and then that should be plenty of RF. Because ultimately what I want to do here is I want to make a jetpack so that I can get around in the nether much more easily and gather quartz to level up, uh, get to get levels, essentially. All right, there we go. So we got that. Now let's take a look at, well, actually, that thing's got four, that thing holds four million RF. Let's, uh, let's actually start powering that thing up, and then we'll start worrying about the jetpack. So throw you in there. This thing is going to drain super, super quick. Um, and let's actually, well, no, it's fine. It'll fill up on its own over time. I'm not going to use even close to that much RF, so we'll just let it go. Okay, uh, now, on to jetpacks. And for jetpacks, there's a few options. We can go the, uh, the thermal expansion route, or we can go the Ender I.O. route. Personally, I think the, uh, the thermal expansion route is a little bit better, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, let's get... Maybe we can use some lapis and stuff as our thing because we need we need to make uh stuff so oh where's my iron am i out of iron oh no i'm not okay i've got a little bit more here we go so we're gonna need to make oh uh that's not right ah there we go we're gonna need a leather strap we're gonna need some lead we're gonna need a leadstone flux capacitor can i just jump Straight now. I'm gonna have to make. So essentially, I'm gonna have to make a couple. I think the hardened one would probably be good enough, honestly. These things get really expensive really quickly, though. Hmm. I think we'll go this route. Oh, but I don't have any more sulfur unless. Did I put sulfur? Please tell me I put sulfur in the thing. Um, it says exchange energy 32. Please tell me that I taught you sulfur. Pretty please. Sulfur? Oh, I did. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Crisis averted. We're saved. Beautiful. Okay. 
So <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, actually let's grab this stuff. Let me go ahead and start crafting up some of the components for the jetpack, guys. I'll come back to you in just a sec. All right, guys, I have everything ready to go ahead and make the tier one jetpack, which is, you know, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, what I'd really like to bronze. Um, maybe, uh, do we want to do that? We probably should. But man, there's so much bronze. And one, but then again, one tin and three copper will make plenty of it. So maybe what I, uh, I'll go ahead and do that one too. I'll upgrade to the hardened jetpack at least. Then we'll hold at least, you know, some RF. So uh, let's go, was it three copper and one tin? Yeah. Let's do that. And then one, two, three, four, five. There we go. That should make us a whole bunch of bronze. That should make us, make us like uh, 20, 20 bronze, I believe. Something like that. 20, 24. I don't know. It'll be a pretty decent amount. Uh, we are going to need a couple of bronze gears for the hardened one. Because we need to make one of these reactant dynamos. And we will need two of those. And... Is that everything we need? There's one. What are we still missing? Oh, we need... We need even more bronze gears. That's right. Okay. There we go. So let's make... Two of those. And actually, I think... There we go. That should be everything now. So now we can make another reactant dynamo. And then we're going to need Invar. And Invar was ferrous and iron. Oh, and actually, I've got a bunch of it already. So I think we're good there. Hardened flux ducts. I'll need four of those. So let's do... Let's do this. We'll do... Yeah, let's just convert them all. Why not? They'll get used. And then I think... Oh, I'm out of redstone. That's problematic. <laughs> let's, let's go fix that. Um. Oh, I'm completely out of redstone. Okay, well, I'll grab a diamond and we'll go generate some more using ee3 because that is an amazing thing uh redstone beautiful and i think i'll just leave the rest of that in the table for when i actually need it okay so trying this again we've got our two dynamos we've got think everything oh wait we need two of those there we go now we should have... No? Does it just not... I, I have a feeling that this is one of those ones that just doesn't like to stack properly. Um, Invar... Yeah, see? Makes two, no problem. But it's just one of those weird things. And then I need an Invar flux capacitor as well. I've got a leadstone here. Uh, so I think think am i good to make that ah, i'm one invaring it short okay that's fine so uh iron i don't have any ferrous metal okay let me get all the stuff i need together to finish making this and i'll be back with you in just a second all right guys i am back and we've got our hardened jetpack and i think that's all the further we're going to upgrade this thing i don't think i don't really see the purpose in upgrading this past that point, because I'm going to be carrying around a 4 million RF flux capacitor with me when I'm around and about in the nether doing things. Uh, also, server restart happening in like five minutes. So, that's, that's a thing. Um, let's just put all of this junk away. Let's put, our, let's put our modded stuff into our modded chest. There we go. We'll put our glass in here where it belongs. And our leather in here. 
And before the server restarts, let's go ahead and just try this guy out. Uh, oh, there it is. Now, it does take up an armor spot, which is a little unfortunate. But, when you go to sleep, before we go outside, let's, let's go to sleep first. And there we go. Uh, so, when you go out here, as you can see, we can fly. I'm just holding space. And that, that, uh, that RF is going to last us a pretty long time. I mean, we went all the way from there up to here on just 2% of our overall uh, capacity. And I can replenish that thing. Uh, well, let's see. 400,000, 4 million. I can, I can replenish this thing 10 times. So, as you can see, this is going to make getting around... Uh, significantly easier. I mean, I can, I can get around pretty easily. And if by some chance I fall on accident or what have you, you know, if, if this tree, for example, were to disintegrate, but, uh, I was, I was hoping for a little better than that game. I was trying to demonstrate you failed me. Well done. Actually, terrible. Very terrible of you. But if I was to accidentally fall here, I could quick use my jetpack in short bursts and land safely and not die in the process. So, as you can see, this is going to definitely make getting around in the nether a lot easier. And I think at this point, the best way for me to get, to get my levels up so I can actually enchant my tools and stuff like that is probably going to be mining quartz in the nether. So I think this will be well worth it and a very useful thing for us to have. Let's just make sure. Do I have... I do have a diamond pick. I suppose I'll take that with, too. We've got the ruby pick. we got the diamond pick. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Oh, and I can fly around and kill stuff, which is also always a useful thing. But I'm going to head into the nether. I'm going to mine quartz for a little bit, get some levels going. And, whoa! What the... What? What in the world? I don't even know what just happened. Um. What? Like, there was nothing. I just died. I just completely died. Also, I look like a Christmas tree right now. And my head is like... <laughs> okay. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um. I guess we'll go back in with full armor and just start swinging what in the world happened there like it was it just just everything now we need to get all of our stuff and I'm sure some of it went through the other side to the other side of the portal did we get it all yeah there we go that was so weird. I have no idea what happened there. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. It's all over now. Looks like the server's about to restart. So, I guess I'm just going to put my stuff in my chest and uh, wait for the server to restart. Do a little mining of things and, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to actually go ahead and wrap this episode up right here, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.